What's going on guys, Visais here with another video about camera control. I made a video in the past about the problem that players have with lag camera, so if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch that one first. But if you're here to learn and get rid of this bad pattern that can hold you back from climbing and improving, then this is a video for you. Today I will be giving you 3 secrets and drills that you can use in order for you to get used to play with unlock camera and win more games. Enjoy the video! Secret number one, change your settings, change the DPI and make sure the camera of the speed, the setting of it is uh, comfortable with your mechanics. Make sure you change your settings so you can have an easier time playing with unlocked camera. Obviously you have to be comfortable with them. So it's really important to not only have a really good DPI on your mouse, but also have a really good speed of the camera. Not too fast, obviously, but not too slow. I'll show you what I use basically. So in terms of the settings right here, I do use camera move speed on uh, 57, this is what I like, uh, I don't like to be again, if it's too slow it's so bad, if it's too slow like this is really really bad, if it's like too fast then I mean you can't even see anything, so it's pretty bad if you guys play with it, I recommend you like 55, 60, uh, but again you have to just try it and see which one uh, works for you and then of course the one on the keyboard uh, matters a lot and what's what but what's really more important is the mouse speed and the camera control i do recommend you guys to use 50 50 on both of them or maybe like 50 55 on like one and another like it's really important to have like really good settings again um this is just preference obviously the settings are a preference so if you you can go and in in a practice tool and see what works for you the best on my discord i actually recently posted a video with all of my pro settings that i use so if you're interested into finding out what are my settings i will leave a link in the description to get access to that video all what i have to do is to simply join the discord my discord and you have it <laughs> secret number two drills and how to fix it how to fix this by doing some personalized drills so you can actually practice some personalized uh, drills to get yourself more comfortable with unlocked camera and i'll give you basically uh, three drills today that you can actually do in order for you to uh, to actually improve the camera so the first drill is super 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 simple uh, you just go on the top river you make sure you uh, put like two two doom like two doomies like ally doomies really far from each other and it's very very simple so as you're going to one doomy you basically have to move your camera oh shit i forgot to like <laughs> okay so all what you have to do is basically go to one doomy and then move your camera simultaneously as you're doing that so it has to look like this i basically go to one doomy i move my camera to top lane after i i I'm looking here for about two seconds. I will basically have to press spacebar and then once I'm right here I basically have to go to the other doomy. Just look at mid lane, press spacebar and uh, we just go from there. So the practice has to go like this, has to look like this. So you look here, you're just moving your camera, spacebar. And then you stop, then you go to the other one, move your camera, spacebar. You can also do it if you want. You can also do it like you're moving with your camera and you're just clicking with your camera. Like you're just clicking and hovering there. It's really important for you to actually hover for two seconds. It's really, really important, two seconds. So you don't, don't have to do it like this. No, it's too fast. It's too fast. So it's either you do it like you go to the dummy, you move your camera, you wait two seconds, one, two, and then you press spacebar. Or you just do it like you go to another dummy, you click there, you look for like one, two, two seconds, and then you press spacebar, and then you go to the other one. You look there, two seconds, spacebar. So you don't have to do it too fast because the point is you need to see what's going on there. This is basically why you're actually looking there. So this is basically the first drill. The second drill is a little bit more complex and maybe some of you won't actually be able to uh, do it. It's pretty hard in my opinion. Let me know in the comments. Uh, below in the comments if it's actually that hard so you basically have to put like two doomies basically very close to each other and what you have to do is basically we need to do a drill which is basically blue buff red buff drill so this is how i call it so you basically have to look at, um, at the blue buff really fast the spray bar really fast like this it has to look like this it looks pretty simple it's actually in the game you have to be very precise so if you're going with the camera like this this is bad. No, you have to stay in the middle of the doomies and you have to go exactly like in the middle of the river like this. And when you're moving your camera and you're going to the blue, it has to be exactly and very accurately to the blue buff and red buff. To blue buff and red buff. Blue buff, red buff. So if you're going like this, 
this is not good. If you're going like this, this is not good. No, blue buff, space bar, red buff, space bar. Have to basically move. So this is going to help you a lot because you're going to get a lot more comfortable with your mouse. And you would have to basically uh, move your mouse like very wide on your um, on your uh, mouse pad. So this is a very good practice. Of course, for those guys that are like higher elo, you can also do it by moving. So you basically move to the dummy, then space bar, space bar. Again, move to the other one. Space bar, space bar. Move to this one. Space bar, space bar, space bar. Like you can do it actually. If you can do it, you basically start from here and you go to the other one and you do like three. One, two, three. Like if you can do this, you guys are like, you are fucking good if you can do this because you have to be really fast and you have to start from this dummy. So going to this dummy. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I did four. I think I can actually do five as well if I increase my DPI. But this is really good. If you can do this like really fast, that means you're actually pretty comfortable with your mouse. Uh, it looks easy, but it's actually not. So make sure you uh, you practice this drill. It's super, super efficient. And the last drill, the third drill right here uh, is uh, pretty interesting. So all what I have to do basically, you have to, uh, again, it's, it's because, so we are doing this drill just because you wanna get more comfortable with your mouse. So at the end of the day, you can get more comfortable with playing with unlocked camera. So it has to look like this. So you literally wanna move your your mouse towards the right so again you have to basically make a circle you see this a circle a circle like this just all around your screen and you have to do it like this with the screen again if you're doing that, something like this this is bad so the point is that you want to again get more comfortable with your screen and you want to make sure you don't really like this is bad right like, like why is this bad it's bad because my champion has to be in the middle like this is good my champion has to be in the middle has to be in the middle like this so why are we doing this? It's very simple. We're doing this because again, we're trying to uh, be very accurate with the clicks and with the moves and with the, uh, with how much we actually move our mouse on the mouse pad. So you wanna do basically 10 circles like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Again, the champion has to be in the middle. And then I basically went from the left on the right and basically you wanna start from the right and then go on the left. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So you can see that on the left angle, I actually do it worse. So I have to practice this more. So 10, circ 10 circles right, 10 circles left. So that's basically the third drill. The third tip, the third secret is that you need to play mini games that will allow you to get more comfortable with playing with unlocked camera. Many players don't actually know that playing mini indie games can help you playing League of Legends better. Uh, for example, if you're playing for uh, things like uh, Type Racer, um, that, that Type Racer game, that just the writing game can actually improve your comfortability with the keyboard, which means that, of course, eventually, eventually you're going to actually uh, get cleaner on using your combos on your champion. But if you really want to improve camera control, then you can play those two games. I'll show you what I use uh, in my coaching, what I recommend to people to use. Uh, those two games will allow you to get used to move your mouse really fast and in a very accurate way so if you practice it for a few weeks consistently you will get much better with playing with unlocked cameras so i'll show you right now uh, those two games the first game is i'm booster which is a really really nice game it's a clicking game uh, it's super simple like all what i have to do is basically have to click on the bubbles this can help you a lot if you are playing especially like mid 80 carry um, and if you play like mechanical roles, like if you play, let's say, Camel top lane, Thresh support, like it can definitely like help your mechanics. You have to like be really accurate. So why does this help you? Well, this helps you a lot because again, you're just going to uh, train your accuracy and you're going to be able to actually be more, again, more accurate and more precise with your clicking. So this can actually help you a lot. Make sure you play it on the full screen. You can also play it with the right click, which is amazing. I always play with the right click because obviously we're all playing League of Legends <laughs> with the right click. So uh, this is what I like the most on this in this game. Uh, you basically uh, play with the right click and it's like really, really, really amazing. So my personal best is like a minute and 20 seconds. Uh, so it's like a really really nice game. So if you can beat my record, let me let, let me know guys Let me know in the comments below. I actually worked so hard on this game to get a minute and 20 seconds It's actually quite hard. So uh, basically it gets like harder and harder and harder and harder at some point But yeah, this is basically the first game and the second game is again something like this But again a little bit harder. So you have like modes right here. We can actually personalize your cursor and everything uh, So this is a bit harder. I actually really like this this app uh, but again, like this is basically super super hard. You can also play it with a right click But as you can see like this is like really insanely hard 
uh, obviously for those of you who are like looking for like hard and uh, practice then you can play this game for sure so right now i'm actually playing on insane level so it's not easy for sure but yeah those games can actually help you a lot if you also want to get better with this camera control problem here are another extra bonus tips first of all play more normals and force yourself playing with unlocked camera you want to play more normal games because in normal games obviously while playing normals you can even like chill and play with a new champion if you play minimum minimum a game per day with unlocked camera even if you play the rest with locked camera or you know uh, it will still help you as long as you do it every single day and you get yourself give yourself that time where you play a game every day with unlocked camera so you want to get out of your comfort zone and you want to be disciplined the second thing obviously you want to give yourself time obviously it won't be easy and things will take time but if you really want to improve then you will need to feel that discomfort in order to get better um, if you still can't play with it don't worry uh, i've got a cover on that as well so if you still can't play with uh, the locked camera and you still have problems with it then i do recommend you to actually try uh, the semi-locked camera on your uh, League of Legends. Here is the, the, the semi-lock camera. This is basically how it looks. So right here you basically have to go here. And again, if you play with the unlock camera, which is by far the best, you should have selected per side offset. Uh, but let's say you're not really doing that and you're like your bronze or your silver and you just started playing then. Uh, rather than playing with locked camera, you can just play with unlocked, like with, with semi-locked, sorry. Uh, so this is basically not locked and not unlocked. So it's kind of like in the middle. It's not fully, fully locked, but it's not like fully unlocked. So it this is basically how it looks like you can move your camera but you can't really move it like too much it's much 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 better than the unlocked camera so if you're like if you guys are like bronze you don't have like good mechanics let's see you guys are silver even for gold players that they don't really have the mechanics to actually play with uh with unlocked camera then this can actually help you a lot to actually uh get your gameplay to a better level so again gold players or silver players bronze players but specifically like lower reload players if you can't play with locked camera or with unlock camera then definitely semi locked camera will be uh, the way for thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe to get notified about the latest updates videos from my channel remember that i also do personalized coaching i already helped more than 3000 of people getting better in league of legends and helping them achieve their goals coach so many people from bronze to really grandmaster so if you have problems climbing and improving yourself go ahead and book your personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching with me if you want to get get your gameplay to the next level and improve instantly. I'll see you in the session. Bye-bye.